What's guys? My name is Stefan and welcome back to Coral Reefs. Today I'm back with an episode of Coral Reefs and in today's episode I wanna try to fly this elytra course because I have failed at every attempt at trying to beat it and now I'm getting somewhere well nope that's a fail. First in this episode I would like to make a transportation system of some sort for the bamboo now i need to figure out from where am i going to get all of my stuff so i don't want it to go immediately into the into the chest so maybe over here so if the chest is here the hopper will be behind here so i'm just going to need to oh, that's the the farm for the kelp that kind of confused me so actually no this is where the chest is going to be and the hopper is going to be behind here so I guess this is going to be like that and this should be easy I just need to write down my coordinates so that I could go back here so 381 22 minus 393 good so now I go from the bamboo farm straight to here and hopefully dig all the stuff up. So this is my bamboo farm. Now I guess the bamboo is going to fall like that and go here. So I'm probably going to use that to my advantage. So bamboo falls down here. And now I need to go F3, I need to go to 22, and I'm on 57, so I'm going to go straight down to 22, I'm going to need to go, I'm going to need to do that on the other side, because that's the actual thing. So I need to go here, minus 330, minus 393, which is a lot, 330, 300. <laughs> Oh my gosh, one ca why can't I say this number? 393. Good. So, now I'm going to quickly mine to there. I started using bamboo as a fuel source, but I ran out of really quick because uh, it uses four pieces of bamboo to smelt one block. But the kill blocks are awesome because they use one kill block for 20 items. And the... Uh, I don't usually smelt that much items, so it's a waste of kelp blocks, and why not just use bamboo? Almost there on the coordinates, 393 here. And now I need to go left to 381. Now, do I have the correct direction? I do. So this should be pretty quick. Now I think that I have the haste effect, yep. I do have the haste effect. It should go really, really fast, and I should be there in no time connecting them. And hopefully, I'll start putting water and see where I'll end up. So, 381, here I come. This should be pretty quick. 380. Okay, so that's annoying. It goes like on the kelp farm. Well, it goes on the redstone, so. I could, like, put it here, so that I don't disturb the kelp farm, and I need, I just need to go one block to the right, and all should be well. So enjoy this little time lapse.
Now that that is done, it is time to start building a space station. So I want to build like a kind of like a space station made out of a smooth stone. So I'm going to smelt like four four stacks of sand and um, I just want to test the smelter because it's still filling up with bamboo. And now I should like waste a lot of bamboo. Which is kind of like a good thing because I do have a lot. If I check this... Wait. Why don't I get any bamboo? Is it because it's not loaded or... I don't know. I, I know that I have a lot of bamboo. If I just say FK there, they will come down here and all will be good. The space station is going to be where the rocket is. Like, not above the rocket, but close to it. Nope, I don't want to hit the arm. Good. Um, I have no idea where could I could put it. I could put it, like, somewhere over here. And I just realized that this whole place is a birch forest. And I was chopping birch from the regular forest. Which, I know that I'm stupid. But... Now I know that there, there is tons of birch here. I could make a water elevator, it will look really cool, so 200, awesome. Now I wing it, because I have no idea what I'm going to build. I want to have like a central thingy here, so I guess 5 on each side. And this is 3, now it's going to be 5. I'm going to do this here too and I'm just going to build it like this so this is going to be the main part I guess you could say then I'm going to add wings or more rooms so and this is like one place I could have a path made out of slabs like this let's say five blocks away and this one could be out of uh, glass so one two three then metal then again one two three and uh, it will look really cool so i'm going to again build and enjoy this time lapse So now that I have the space station, like the foundations of it built, it is time to start furnishing this place. So I built this place, let's say a week ago, and it's empty. 
so I want to put some furniture in it for example let's say a sofa a kitchen why not I love the little wait what this looks awesome it's a barrel uh, what do you use a barrel oh wait this is perfect for cabinets I'm going to make more barrels so let's say I put a kitchen here this looks so freaking cool can I I can put it facing like that which is really cool so let's say I'm going to put well that's a really big kitchen I don't want a really big kitchen and let's just do this I'm going to also use the standard minecrafty kitchen makeshift thingy basically this but it will turn out okay hopefully now I'm going to put like a wardrobe no wardrobe who the who needs a wardrobe in the kitchen a pantry a table somewhere I do have stairs so I guess I could put the table here next to the window and a foldable table not like that of course the opposite way a foldable table which really adds to this and I could put a bed but I don't have a lot of wool so I mean I do have one bed so I'm going to put the bed here and this is how to this is how I'm going to furnish the houses add some cabinets pantries whatever I really love this house but first I need to decorate this one so if I go inside it should be like the same size I think it is the same size but I'm going to change some stuff up like for example let's make the kitchen over here next to the door let's make this I don't know let's put a barrel here did I leave my nope I did not I did not leave the crafting table there cool but a crafting table would look really cool there so let's make some barrels and let's put some barrels here I don't really need top cabinets right now so I'm going to leave them out I should grab some cobblestone for furnaces and I'm going to grab all the wool and string that I have so that I could make more beds and I can furnish the house like I want to and now it is time to furnish the houses so again enjoy the time-lapse All of the houses are furnished and I'm going to end this episode here guys so if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and also share it with your friends, subscribe over there, check the last video out over there and my name is Stefan and I'll see you all later, bye, stay strong.